Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for joining the pre construction community meeting for the Brian Irvin Road and Oakmont Boulevard intersection improvement projects. My name is Fanta Kaba, and I'm the city of Fort Worth project manager. So, for tonight's agenda, we'll go over the project background. We'll give the project update. We'll review the project schedule and then we'll end with project contact information. So, a bit of the project background. So, the Oakmont Boulevard westbound traffic at Brian Irvin Road is consistently backed up to Harris Parkway during the AM and PM peak hours. And the Oakmont Boulevard traffic headed westbound trying to enter the Harris Hospital uh, via the left turn lane is consistently backed up several hundred feet during the AM peak hours. And then also the Harris Parkway northbound traffic leaving Harris Hospital is consistently backed up several hundred feet during the PM peak hours. The eastbound traffic on Oakmont Boulevard at Harris Parkway occasionally backs up all the way to Brian Irvin Road, which then blocks the turning and through traffic. Brian Irvin and Harris Parkway signal timing is not currently coordinated. So the objectives for this project are to include or to improve efficiency of traffic flow at both intersections during peak hours, reducing delays and improving overall safety for all users, including um, improving pedestrian safety at Brian Irvin Road and Oakmont Boulevard through new directional ramps, striping and addition of pedestrian refuge islands. And then improving traffic flow at both intersections through left turn lane additions, signal timing revisions, and modified lane assignments. This project is funded by the 2022 bond program. And then this is an aerial of our project location map. So proposed improvements at the Brian Irvin Road at Oakland Boulevard intersection. As you all can see, we have an additional westbound left turn lane being constructed at the intersection of Brian Irvin Road and Oakmont Boulevard. We're modifying the alignment of the intersection a bit. And then similarly at the intersection of Harris Parkway at Oakmont Boulevard, we will be constructing an additional westbound left turn lane here as well and updating the striping. So, we had a design phase public meeting last year via WebEx. There were about 19 residents in attendance out of over 1,600 milliliters that were sent. We had a few concerns. So, one of the issues raised was, is there going to be guidance for eastbound vehicles traveling through Brian Irvin Road at Oakmont Boulevard? And then this project will update alignment of the intersection and provide updated pavement markings. There was a request for bike lanes along Brian Irvin Road at Oakmont Boulevard. However, that scope is not included in this, in this project. However, we did send that request to transportation management. There was also a request for a designated eastbound right turn lane at Oakmont Boulevard onto Harris Parkway. And so, as part of this project, we're planning to install an LED blank out sign and modify the traffic signal timing to help alleviate any backups. So, the typical construction process to expect so, notifications on the upcoming construction, traffic control implementation, erosion control, plan implementation, site clearing. And then we'll go to the underground utility work. We'll do subgrade placement and stabilization, pavement and sidewalk construction, traffic signal installation, landscaping and sodding, and then we'll end with traffic control removal and final cleanup. So our project schedule, the protect the projected start date is on October 28th, so coming up pretty soon with the duration of 300 calendar days, which puts us at the end of August of next year for anticipated completion date. 
Typical working hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. during weekdays and 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. during weekend hours, if requested in writing and approved. For project notification, we're planning variable message boards, project signs, and door hangers on residences and businesses. The project schedule could be affected by unforeseen events, such as utility conflicts or weather. We have acquired some easements for this project and all of that is complete. We have a pending temporary right of entry, which is estimated to be complete this month. All of our utility relocations have been complete and the estimated cost of construction is just over $1.9 million. So a few conditions to expect during construction include various daily lane closures for median work, various pedestrian detours and sidewalk closures for ramp reconstruction. And um, we are planning to maintain business, business driveway access throughout the duration of construction and detour routes will not be required. And then project contact information so the contractor is McClendon and their point of contact is Ryan Cordova. Our design engineer is Westwood Professional Services and the point of contact is Dylan Burton. And then of course, um, myself, Fanta Cabo with the city of Fort Worth, I'm the project manager and my contact information is below. For any service request, we have a few options for um, submittal to the city. We have the My Fort Worth app for Apple, the My Fort Worth app for Google. You can also text hello to 817-835-MY-FORT-WORTH. And we also have the city call center, 817-392-1234. And that concludes our presentation. So again, thank you all. And we are now opening the floor up for any questions. Fanta, that was great. Um, I think most of the people on the call are from the project team. We may have uh, one or two residents. Um, are there any questions from from folks who live in the area of the intersection? Or anyone on the call? Okay, so I don't see any questions. Chad, do you see anything in the chat? I do not. Um, I'm not sure if I can check it from where I'm at. Can someone um, see if we have any chat questions? Hey guys, this is Laura. I was also checking and great job, Fanna. I do not see any questions. So again, for those who are on and then I let the district directors know this will be available online on our project page. Okay, well, thank you all again, and that concludes tonight's meeting. Thank you, Fanta. Thank you all. Have a good evening. Thanks, Fanta.